Are you getting an E20D on your gas fryer and you've determined that the problem is a dirty flame sensor or a clogged pilot? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean the flame sensor as well as the orifice for your pilot so we can get that fryer back up and running again in the event that you can't get the correct parts to be able to fix it correctly. So sit tight and we'll dive straight into it. Usually what causes this to happen is the high limit probe located directly above the pilot assembly has started to leak oil and drip down onto the pilot. This causes the pilot assembly to become clogged with burnt oil and block the gas flow not allowing a pilot flame or a weak flame. The other thing that can happen is the flame sensor rod itself can become dirty with carbon or grease buildup so a good way to prevent this from happening in the future is if you see a probe leaking to let the customer know so you can fix it and save them some downtime. If only the flame sensor needs cleaned and we are sure no oil has clogged our orifice, this can usually be done with the pilot assembly still in the fryer. Disconnect power to the fryer for safety and then using a brass or a stainless cleaning brush Scrub the flame rod, the one on the left, until a shiny surface is seen, removing all the grease and carbon buildup. It's not recommended to use any method that would be abrasive to the flame sensor, such as sandpaper, or maybe scraping it with a knife, etc. This can cause a porous surface on the flame sensor and can cause it to collect buildup again very quickly. Also, you wanna be careful not to touch the flame sensor with your hands or using any cleaning agents as either can have oils or chemicals that can cause further problems. If the pilot assembly is clogged with grease buildup, it will require removing the assembly from the fryer for thorough cleaning. To remove the pilot from the fryer, start by disconnecting power to the fryer and then also turning off the gas supply to the fryer as well for safety. Then, using a 7 16 wrench as well as a half inch wrench, loosen the pilot tube compression nut until it unthreads from the orifice. Then, remove the two cross tip mounting screws as well as the ground lug, and now the pilot can be removed from the fryer for cleaning. When it comes to cleaning the pilot assembly and the orifice, we need to make sure that the gas has a clear pathway and is not obstructed. Since we don't want to hurt our flame sensor, it's not recommended to use any cleaning solutions. What we need to do is as gently but as thoroughly as possible chip or wipe away any of the buildup in the channels. Then we can unscrew the orifice from the body and clean the orifice hole. This hole size is quite small, measuring 0.023 for natural gas and 0.013 for liquid propane. We do not recommend using a drill bit to clean this out as it could enlarge the hole and cause an improper burn. What we do recommend is to use an orifice cleaning tip that can be purchased at a local tool store or online. A torch or welding tip cleaning tool usually will work great like the one shown here. To test and see if cleaning has solved the problem, install the pilot assembly back into the fryer, then plug our meter leads in line with the flame sensor circuit, connect power back to the fryer, after powering up the fryer, we need to check our microamps coming from the flame sensor to make sure it is within spec. We need to have a minimum of 0.7 microamps and preferably more than one microamp. If we have confirmed that we're within spec, then we can go ahead and proceed with wrapping up the job. However, if we're still not getting the results we need after cleaning that flame sensor or the pilot assembly, then we're gonna need to go back together with a new pilot assembly that includes both the flame sensor and a new orifice.